I'm Commander Shepard and this is my favourite video on YouTube. Hey guys, Boss Fella here and today we are celebrating the glorious N7 day. Well, you're celebrating N7 yeah, day. <laughs> yeah, rules. like you're the only person I know that celebrates it. Um, I think it's a mythical thing to be <sighs> Well, you, you actually know, in fact, there's a lot of days where it's like, wait, why is this day important? Like, well, you know, we all love Mass Effect. Yes. Okay. Oh my god, I forgot I actually have my Shepard to look like Cyrax. So, so you have yellow armour? Yellow armour with green details. Cyrax, nice. mate. Nice. Wow, how the hell long ago... Uh, wait, no. I you haven't wearing played dreadlocks? <clears throat> if I can get them, probably. Not, you know, iconic enough now. I I'm sorry. You should be. I'm only a casual Cyrax. <laughs> nice. Just you. Just, just shush. Fine. You casual. Yeah, alright. Ow. Continue, Tom. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um, <laughs> N7 day is obviously November the 7th, as it is today. And obviously the N7 class in Mass Effect. Which is uh, like basically the space SAS, really. It's like the elite of the elite. So, uh, so wait, why are we part of it? Have they uh, met she us? She Shepard's part of it. No, uh, no, no. I'm saying, have they met us? Oh, they met me. <laughs> have they? I'm, I'm the first initiate. <laughs> Oh, yeah. okay. Yes. Oh. But, um, yeah, basically... Wow, look at that. That's quite cool. Wow. It kind of looks like Ermac as well, if it was red. See, uh, I thought... I think she actually tried to go whole hock with it as well. Yeah. Apparently, I, I am even back then, because I haven't played this since 2012, but I'm still very much dedicated to Mortal Kombat. Lift grenade. <sighs> really? Oh, you! This oh. is the one downfall of this game. One yeah, second. Yeah, there's a problem with this game with the whole. Uh... Okay, sorry about the delay there, guys. <laughs> we had a disc problem because of the whole two discs on Mass Effect uh, 3. Anyway, uh, I thought we'd spend this time in this video talking about, firstly, the new game that's possible. Well, I think it's meant to be coming out next year. Is it so that soon? I thought it's, it was I think it's, I think it's meant to be late next year. I think if at the worst, early 2017. Which wasn't there like I'd a, rather be early 2017. Wasn't there a I don't know like a not a trailer. Th there a was a te teaser trailer to an extent. Yeah. It's very very vague, but it shows. Yeah, but that's what yeah, it's but is, is it fan, fan made? No, no, it's it's done by Bioware. It was released at E3. Cool party. What's it game to come? I think it's E3. I'm pretty sure it's E3. I don't know. I hear Gamescom tends to have better information than E3 does. It was one of two, anyway. It's one of these big game conventions uh, this year. But um, basically, from that teaser trailer, what we can take is the fact that basically the next game is obviously it's after Mass Effect 3. All the civilizations have came together and established themselves, and that's all it came depends. That, that's what that's that's what I mean. This is what I believe. From oh, okay, okay. And from the looks, we're going beyond our galaxy, into the new frontier, trying out, uh, going to planets that obviously haven't been yet discovered, and who knows what lies beneath them, or below them, or whatever. <laughs> so basically, so basically, it could be Reapers 2.0. Oh, be, don't yeah. say that. New enemies. Oh, I've been here. But yeah, um. <laughs> But, but uh, because it's because it's science fiction, it's safe to say there is quite literally infinite possibilities. All oh, of course, done. yeah, no, like I completely agree with you there. Well, how look at all the big science fiction things which came before Mass Effect. Like, how many years has Star Trek been going on for? God. And how many TV shows and or films and or books or comics have been written about it? Yeah, Mass Effect's a big universe. Just as it a is. few. But Tom, how many comics was written? Or written for Mass Effect? Uh, there was four graphic novels and about five comics following those graphic novels. And uh, there's been novels no, written for as well, hasn't there? No, there's, yeah, that's what I mean. There's four graphic novels. No, 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 I mean actual book books. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's more like the Miranda side of things. And... Oh, was it? That's a lot of conversion in between each thing. Yeah, well, yeah, mixed media is a good thing. Like, Oh, yeah, it, it's just more publicity, uh, it, it spreads out to a wider audience then, doesn't it? Yeah, like, yeah, not everyone is necessarily going to pick up a game. No, of course. Like, and play it, yeah, some people want to read it. Yeah, just like you said, the graphic novels and stuff. Yeah, uh, you take different things from different things, so... We're actually having, like, a proper conversation about 
different media sectors. It's uh, fun. It's, so it's, it's a strange day. Yeah, <laughs> it's one of those days. I think I'm tired. That's what it is. <laughs> but no, like, um, so you were saying about it, the new one. What do we know about the new one thus far? <laughs> new planets. New planets, okay. Uh, Which... you're... From the looks, you're going to be human. Um, this is one thing I've brought up to, especially Will, on many occasions. And this is an awesome is idea. The fact that Dragon Age, well, one, and Inquisition, you can pick your species. Is it? Uh, why can't you pick your race of Mass Effect? I, I understand the, really the, the original trilogy, I understand it, revolves around Earth and humanity. Yeah, and humanity. The new one, you could easily make it so you can pick a race, but I think because they're going to stick brand with new, then, like you say, why can't you? Because, well, I don't know. Like, this is why I've been arguing for for years. Uh, Mass Effect MMO would not go mess. They could easily do what you said there, make it possible. So you could choose a race. They managed it at Star Wars, managed it at Star Trek. Mm -hmm. Why can't we ha say, okay, right, I want a Mass Effect game, I'll play a, a, a Salarian and go around and kill low-level players and be just be a troll. Yeah, why can't I be Gosh. a Salarian? Does why he... can't I be like a Salarian hitman rather than a scientist? Yeah. Oh. Tom. Do I or do I get five? Tom. Yeah. Every, Every time. Dead. Every time you play the game. Nah, I'm not. It's... Yeah. You, you die in games, that's what happens. But it's not like a Well, obviously, we game. don't die as much as you do. That was my first death. Alright, one. <laughs> Do I just put a counter on the screen every time Tom dies now? That would be quite funny. That would be good. <laughs> See, even Tom agrees. And he's playing the damn thing. Yes, like... I don't know. But alright, yeah, What? so what are we wanting if you won? Because, obviously, it's, it's going to be next gen. Presumably only next gen, so we're not going to get... Yeah, no. We're not going to get a 360, like, um, this old game. Because this is an old game now, let's oh, be fair. Yeah. But I, I would agree with Rick then. I would really like to be able to pick like my own race. So I'd love to be Kroon or Turian, that would be awesome. Turians would be pretty cool to play, to play as. I th Maybe even like Quarian. Just because it's different. No, see, if I was to choose a race on Mass Effect, what I'd actually go for. What would you go for? I'd go for Asari. Oh, what about Bateria? See... Okay, Batarians that's another cool. problem I've had with Mass Effect. It's because Batarians are assholes. had a Batarian teammate. That's because we're assholes. Exactly. But when you get to play them as them in Horde mode, they were so fun to play as. Wow. Oh, actually, go back to the Horde mode comment. We were supposed to be playing Horde mode. But from what I've read, the servers were taken down March 2014, so... So yeah. we kind of missed our window there by about three, win by three years. Yeah. Uh, it was, it was I was supposed to <laughs> Wait, it's not? God. Marty, we gotta go back. <laughs> Great Scott. <laughs> if this is 2017, we, the human race, is truly fucked. Really? Why? Because oh. we're set up playing games. Because yeah. we've missed so much Star Wars. Oh. Wait, how many Star Wars movies are happening by then? 20. <laughs> uh, should be three or four. Because you know what Disney are like? Each year they plan to send out one after this year. Are they? Yeah. See, so they take a franchise and they're just like... Profiteer of a massive amount. Yeah, but to be fair, how often did they do a bad one? Well, no, I, I get that. I was gonna say, like, I don't actually recall last time I saw a bad Disney movie. What was the last Disney movie you watched then? Last Disney movie I watched. I'm stuck what, in when it was new or last Disney movie you watched in general? In general. Oof. It's relevant because Star Wars obviously is sci fi and, you know, it comes out soon. And to be honest, Bioware are probably known for probably one of the best Star Wars games ever. As well, yep. Knights of the Old Republic. Is Which that need that? another one. Yep. God almighty, I did not know that. Yeah, and, and basically I think originally Mass Effect was in, like, it was basically a spiritual successor from uh, Knights of the Old Republic. To which I it, can imagine it, it plays yeah. a bit better. Oh, don't get stuck on the wall. Uh, yeah, but you don't, that's because you don't get lightsabers. Who the hell shot me down? Two. Two. <laughs> oh, God almighty, Tom. Yes. <laughs> I put. Uh, um, to be honest, I'm playing off Kyle's slot here. So. <laughs> oh, so you're blaming Kyle for you dying? Wow. Well, oh. Look, you, you leave my yellow armor alone. Shots just, fired. Just Shots because. Fired. It's because you got half a clip. Why don't you reload, you willy? 
Well, yeah, I... what if it weren't? Why are you using a sniper rifle? Don't I have not. This is he's assault using, rifle. He's using an assault rifle. Yeah. He's it's just my using... favourite assault rifle because it's so damn powerful. Assault rifles. What? I, I... This is the assault rifle that I helped you complete Mass Effect 2 with. I, yeah. Hey, 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 look. I use the standard assault rifle in Sindri Outman and it takes out everybody. And next to no time, even these knobheads. Oh, actually, let, let's rewind. How many months ago did we do our reckless video? Reckless? Yep. Oh man, like three, four. Okay, right. Let's maybe. rewind. Rewind back to where that video came out. Uh, we actually put a bet up. Of how much was it? It's just a like bet where. Oh, yeah. uh, it, it was something awful. Like Tom would have to do something. Oh come on! You just ruined the end of the video for me now. I was gonna raise that point at the end. I'm sorry, assholes. Carry on. I didn't say. Sh <laughs> Carry no, no, on. Fine. If it's that important to you, I'll let you talk. About. No, 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 no. That's no, fine. Oh, something yeah. later. But basically, you know yeah, I've got two achievements to get to complete. Basically, well, I believe it was it's just... two to get uh, fully complete the Mass Effect. Series. It was basically you have to 100% Mass Effect the entire series by Christmas, otherwise. No, by New Year. Viewers or I don't know. Us will have to decide My on something. Too. Yeah, and um, uh, trust you know. me, we, we we all know what sorts of people we are. I have been thinking about this as well because I, I, I bet you of, have. The end of the year is right around the corner, so I know. But we we can't fault him because he has technically done it. Uh, da, 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 da. He still has two achievements, so he hasn't done it yet. Wait, Tom, what have you been playing recently? It's not been Mass Effect. I can tell you it's, that. Is it? <laughs> it will be in a few days. It's uh, well today, just the uh, two case. 16 and Halo. Halo? And Halo. What are you all about? Go on the Mass Effect. Yeah, I'd probably second that. Wait, but what Halo are we talking about here? Five? Yeah, yeah. So what you're playing is Locke, aren't you? Uh, I can't remember what mission I'm up to. I haven't completed the game yet. I mean, spend most of my time on multiplayer. Ugh. Doesn't even play the campaign. I know, right? No, no, usually I go for the campaign first. No, no, okay, and on top of that, he yeah. didn't even put on hardest difficulty. Eh? Did he not? <sighs> not straight away. Get off the channel. He gets sacked. I want to know what the story is first. You can listen to the story when you're dying every couple of seconds. Yeah, like you're doing on here. And you get pissed off because you're dying every couple No. I don't know whether that's... No, that's Warfare or Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare... Well done with Wolfenstein, he played that strand Uber. Yeah? He nearly pulled his hair out, but... Yeah. yeah, I did, almost. But I got through it. I persevered. He's got a thousand games to show for it. Exactly. It's because I'm a champ. I like Rick, that he's a chump. <laughs> well, have you completed Mass Effect 1 and Insanity? No, because I have other games to play. Yeah, like FIFA. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I can't remember if we've got massively off the topic yeah. now. Um, <laughs> well, it went from talking about Rigdon's fate, which obviously no one knows what's going to be yet, to like him talking, or, you know, me saying about him playing Halo Five, and then you know him not playing on the hardest difficulty because he's a woman. No uh, offense to any female gamers. Or anything. Anyhow, right, but no, we we talk about um, Aspect Four. Yeah, and what we'd like to see in it. Okay, right. So, as we we agree we wanted to be able to choose what race we are. Yes. Uh, another thing I want to see is the fact because the Asari live so long. Yep. I would like to see a cameo from Niara. She's the only one that could technically make sense of cameo in. Because uh, Samara, she's quite old anyway, isn't well, she? Well, so, yeah, Samara's known. Like, whereas, technically, Niara's kind of like 10 years old in this one. Yeah, I was going to say, she's not very old. She's, she's 109, I think, in the first one. Shepherd uh, slash Jelbeck. Which... Oh, she's like a hundred in this. And she they live up to a thousand years. So they can do. Not that. Uh, assuming you don't go go around swinging with Shepherd and swinging with Shepherd. Hey, is you... that like is that like you know his his version oh, of like Silver Black's blank like oh that you know, date show she used to do. No, well, Black Silver. I don't. Ah, oh, okay. You, you, I talk... watched I watched some crap TV when I was younger. <laughs> I still watch some crap TV now, but you know. Anyhow, go, go back to the point of um, no, I say it's with Shepard because if you're going around blitzing through the galaxy with Shepard, people are gonna die. Yep. There's gonna be tears. There's and he's he's gonna end up getting his end away. Uh, yeah. Well, we say this every time Mass Effect is mentioned. He is an intergalactic poonhound. Yes. He is literally the uh, bond of space. You see her? Yeah, he's had her. Yep. You he's see had them all. Yes. Oh, oh it's almost three. 
<laughs> we'll have to have that little counter come up soon. Yes. How much crap can we give you if you die another another time? If he dies at least, if he gets to five, you're gonna have to put someone on the screen. Uh, yeah, it's just gonna have a message saying Tom Vales, Tom Vales. <laughs> alert! <laughs> alert! Continue. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So. So we like in Mass Effect Four, we like to choose more, more, our own race. Yeah, more customization in terms of what decisions you can make and stuff like. That. I don't know, maybe like more choice in the vehicle as well, because the Mako's cool, but. Well, there's a new Mako, it's gonna be, it looks like an absolute tank. It what what about like, I don't know, bike? Kind of like Speeder from like Star Wars. Yeah, I don't know, they, they sort of dumb up Destiny. Yeah, I know, but Destiny can, you know. That's Bungie, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's because Destiny's different. You don't, you don't see bikes in the Halo, do you? Well, you, uh, you yeah. have Brute Chop, you gimp. That's a more of like a. It's a bike. It's like a Harley for brutes. Anyhow. I get that, but like that. No, that's what I mean. Though it's just varied, isn't it? It's just something different. What about cosmetic stuff? Like, what, do do we want more customization options? To an extent, yes. Like, well, as uh, my Cyrax Shepherd combo. Uh, uh, I mean, obviously first. the customizations have improved a lot since the first match. Yeah, the first it's one. Still... Uh, it's it's hard to. Like, you can't actually customise on the first one, can't you? Well, you get to choose armour for your entire squad, whereas in this one, it's just Shepard that you really worry about, isn't it? You um, can choose their powers, but you can't really, like, choose what their armour and stuff, so they're always wearing the same thing. So Like, you change costume. That's, yeah, but costume, meh. It's not, like, exact, is it? It's not, like, suit of armour, you know, if you wear it, it's more, more protective... You know what I'm going with? You know where I'm going with this. Sort of. Jesus, not know you. I know you are, because <laughs> you're being a willy. But, okay, so... Um, what are we expecting story? Uh, I think Utter destruction. It's a new world. Like, I, I think a lot of what you're going to come across are like hostile and enemies, because obviously it's just... They don't know who Shepard is. Shepard don't know who they are. If it is, I, if you are... Why would I... Wait, if you call I'd like, a, like, I'd like a mention to Shepard. There you go. Then. Well, they Maybe not actually have Shepard. They can't not mention him. No, nah, I mean, he needs to save the galaxy. Right. Yeah. He united the galaxy as well. That's also true. So, well, especially if you do it right and you don't kill Tally or something like that. Yeah, I, I'm quite fortunate. I still have Tally. Um, back when this came out, one of the guys I was playing with lost Tally by jumping off a cliff. She killed herself. Yeah, I, I, I've never. All my playthroughs of Mass Effect 3, I've never had Tally die on me. I lost Legion, but I, I, think, I think I think you lose Legion anyway. You know, I, no, that's, to be honest, the, like, the good way. He uh, sacrificed I, himself for great good. I, I didn't realise Legion was in the game. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Spoilers for me. I'm Thanks, sorry guys. to say, but. The, well, all of them in it if you don't kill him off in the, I mean, the second well, one. None of them died in the second one for me. Well, then they're all alive then. So, the moral decision of do I keep Tally. Or a race of killer robots alive. To me, that's not a, that's not a normal decision. Race of killer robots. <laughs> what? They're going to help you in the long run. Mm. I don't know. They've been shooting at me for the last two and a half games. That's so. fine. Well, for the first game. The second game, you barely see him. Shush you. Exactly. See? Thank you, Rigdon. <laughs> but okay, yeah. On the other subject I was going to talk about, is the potential of Mass Effect film. Yes, it's all been up in the air. It's been rumoured a few times and Isn't things that like that. Is Well, going by Prometheus, well, if, if someone's directed it, I'd like to see a co-directing of it. Okay, which right. Which would involve Ridley Scott and Christopher Nolan. I think to get... Because of it in a stellar, and because of Prometheus and things like that, together, it would be amazing. I actually... No, that's, that's really good, actually. I could see okay, that. Okay, regarding if they done a movie, there's only one person I would... I'd beat them with a stick if they came near it. Who's that? I'd keep you far away from Oh, that. yeah, no, of course. <laughs> now, notice how we have slagged this guy off. And I think it's three of our four last videos. That's because we've been playing <laughs> oh, games. Oh, yeah, because he played Bloodwing. Yep, Makes exactly. Sense. And what did he do? Slag him off. Because well, he's crap. a good person to play Bloodwing. Yeah. yeah, she looks like her. Yeah, but it's, it's different actors every movie, isn't it? There's two movies? Three. 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 There's three Bloodwing movies. Yep. I've only, only seen only one of them. One. And that's got Sir Ben Kingsley in it as well, isn't it? Yeah, and one of them's got Milo in it. Really? Yep. Don't know that. He that makes sense. First one's got Michelle fan Rodriguez fan. in it. He wasted his budget on hiring Meatloaf <coughs> and all the <laughs> female extras. 
he had higher German prostitutes. Oh, well, oh. I guess they're cheap. <laughs> Ish. I don't know. I, I can't say I've ever hired a German one. I've. No comment. Yeah, the, the, the catalogue round here is not. That <laughs> but, um. <laughs> yeah, nice. so, uh. The setting of the film, I'd like to see First Contact War. It makes sense, because yeah, no, it's only really been. Cool, uh, I think First Contact War is in one novel. It is. That... But it's. Like, you, you don't have to use too much. Like, basically, you just make really Tyrians and humans. I was going to say, that's the fight between those two, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's basically when humans first discover alien life, really. I yeah. think there's only one person that can play Shepard. Oh. The guy in Prometheus, because it is Shepard. Mm, yeah. <laughs> don't, uh, go back, watch that film, you know the guy I'm on about, he, d he goes nuts, he West, turns crazy. West waves. And he looks, I swear to God, it's Shepard. Pull away, pull away. Swear to God, I was like, pull away. Come on, Shepard. Wait, yeah, and they drive the Mako in it as well. And the whole Ridley Scott thing I'm thinking of as director has that link there. Exactly. So. Okay, I'll just go throw there. Shepard doesn't have an actual face. Does no, it matter? Does it matter? I mean, if you're going his, as the default face. Is his default face is that guy. Well, who would you like to see him be played as? Say, the fact... Okay, alright. Don't say Tom Hardy. I'm not going to say Tom Hardy. Just in case. Look, uh, I know look, who I'd say. You're going to say Chris Pratt just to piss no. me off, aren't you? <laughs> no, we'll uh, get there. To be honest, who I'd say would probably piss you off. Go on, man. Jamie Lannister from Game of Thrones. Oh, piss off. <laughs> he has the jawline. <laughs> Your jawline? <laughs> the jawline. Ah, or, well, that or you could get the actual uh, person you, sister. or you could get the actual thing that, that the person that mo they modelled the face off he's Swedish Finnish but he's a, like, he's a model all the time but he like you know that's who they modelled the face off so oh, really wait, wait, wait Tom Cameron Tom Cameron's a, Tom Cameron's a, <laughs> it looks like Kyle. he's a model he's a blatant model look at him. Hey, like, you can't say that because Ash compared to SKX the other day. <laughs> I don't know how In I feel about that video. Anyway, you yeah. haven't said who you'd like to see him be played at. Well, the thing is, it doesn't matter, because... No, I'm just, I just want to know who you would like to see him being played. Shepard, okay, he lacks a real face. He yeah, but don't... Uh, no, 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 no. because let... you sound like Tom being no, a realist saying no, stuff like let this. Me, let me finish. He lacks a real face, and he lacks a real personality. You could quite literally have anyone play him. Still doesn't answer my question. I said, who would you like to see him being played at by... Truth be told, I don't know if I'd have an air in fear. Because we said someone, I thought you might actually have an idea no, of someone. That, frankly, I don't like the idea of Mass Effect movie. For me, it because of it, what it is, I feel as if a, an anime would be a more fitting way to deal with it. Have they not got one of those out already, though? I think there is an anime somewhere. I, didn't, I think we found it the other day, didn't we? Or we saw something. Possibly. But, yeah, science fiction is, it, you know, it's not the easiest thing to bring onto a screen, especially not something with as many races. No, as, no, I get that, like, but it'd only be Turians and humans. Okay, yeah, you look at it that way. Are you spending my money? Yep. How dare you? No, oh, I, 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 a sniper one. rifle extended barrel that I'm not sure Carl will like to use. It increases damage. But, um, yeah, uh... Like I was saying, with the first contact war, though, you yep. won't need Shepard. You won't need anyone. Well, but maybe we... Admiral Hackett. Why are we arguing about that? Because... Then, because it's... Oh, what's his name? Oh, what's his name? I was just asking as a general question. Oh, that's fair enough. Tom's got completely the blank. Yeah. Oh, it's and... Is it Sonny and Andrews? Oh, well, well, the person that voices Admiral... Uh, uh... Admiral Hackett. No, Admiral Anderson. Anderson, that's it. He would, yeah, he might as well play himself, because he pretty much looks like Anson from Pretty Well, kind of like Vars from Far Cry. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but yeah, basically that's all you need, and maybe have Martin, uh, Michael Sheen, Martin Sheen as a uh, elusive man. No, because uh, oh, he's I can see that one. You can technically feature him. Hell, okay, even though he's yeah, crazy. Just, just make him a bit younger or something. But... Even though he's crazy, even Charlie Sheen. But he's so crazy after man. one of the graphic novels. Yeah, he does. So. That's not that Charlie either. Like, yeah, and. He smokes a lot, I think. Anyway, that, and he's maybe not cigarettes. But he's always winning. Tra Hashtag Charlie Sheen for Lucifer Man. Charlie Sheen for Lucifer Man. I don't know if <sighs> if that would take, it might take off. We don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know. And everything. I like how I, I, I say as I was talking. I was like, everyone's putting a real thought into it now. Oh, I, I didn't actually. Think, I, actually well, he, you. he is a was it Martin Sheen's son. Yes. So it's, uh, I didn't realize you were being. Sarcastic. If you're doing a younger. 
Martin Sheen for the first Contact Award. It makes sense how it's Charlie Sheen. Yeah, I thought there was, there was like some sarcasm, but you actually were no, saying a little no, bit. No, okay, like... we're caught sub sarcasm. Okay, so half and half. Yeah. I, actually, um, it's sarcasm that turns out when you think about it. To actually, actually it might work. Well, it's like the discussion about if they were to remake 80s movies now, who would you have in it? Yeah. yeah well, it obviously depends what film I imagine. Okay, but a music example we talk about a lot Running Man. Yeah. Who would you, if you were to remake Running Man, who would you cast on Schwarzenegger's place? Oh, that's it's really difficult because there's one person I don't really want to say his name. Don't you say Tom Hardy? I'm not saying it. You said it for me, but he's one of the guys I would think of. No, um, actually, I can shout him out because uh, who we talk to, Games Re Up, says Dwayne Johnson, Rock. To play who? If you were to remake Running Man. I yeah. think no, it's a good idea as well. Like, I, I think he had Vanel on Hera. I think yeah, that is cool. I'm trying to think of anyone else who actually could do it. To be honest. But like for say, if you were to remake Rambo, as an example, who the hell can you have replaced us as Stone? Um, there's nobody. No, not not that like springs to mind. There's nobody who can be as to Stone. Whereas obviously them two things, with the Running Man, obviously like. That guy that played Mad Max and Dwayne Johnson obviously spring to mind. But yeah, it's like yeah, all right. Say Dis, do Disney own Indiana Jones as well by chance? They do now. They do now. Do they? They do now. Okay, right. Say Disney go. All right, lads, we're gonna remake Indiana Jones. Chris Pratt. Chris yeah. Pratt. Chris Pratt. Yes. Every time Chris Pratt. Yeah, hands down. Even if he's Indiana's son. True, son. Not 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 that excuse they use in Crystal Skull. Well, you mean that that prick Shayla Buff? Yes, but like with. Oh yeah. no, I'm an actor. Look at all the screen screen I'm acting in front of. Oh my guy, he's a joke. <laughs> wow, but, I've, uh, I've never <laughs> actually managed to make a room go that silent that quickly before. we well, saying something. But yeah, uh, back on the uh, subject. Yeah. Um. Okay, say we were going to, like, give actors to the characters in the Mass Effect games. Oh, God. If anyone watches Arrow, uh, one of Arrow's teammates, Felicity Smoke, would make a brilliant Liara, in my opinion. She has that quirkiness about her that it, it would just fit. And then also, don't know why, I could see Bradley Cooper as Garrus. Maybe well, he's got that voice. He's got that sort of like you know. Seems that's... obviously with him playing Rock or Raccoon. Unless you get Chuck Norris, because he is Chuck Norris. So. No, no. Uh, let's not bring <laughs> internet memes into this. I would try and be serious for a second, and yeah, then no, someone I... has Chuck Norris. Uh, but I, I sort of get what you mean. Rocket is sort of. He's a... that he just <laughs> voices him really Garris, well, yeah. so I could I could imagine him being like smart ass Garrus. Yeah, I see. This is part of the reason why. I don't like the idea of Mass Effect movie. Would you have? Would it be practical or would digital? Would you put, like shove it? Yeah. Well, because you look at the Torians, they're not the easiest race in the world to try to. To me, no. I think a lot of them you could do practical. The Torians easy. The Follis easy. Just get people like um, what's his name that played R2D2. You can just get Warwick Davis. Yeah, Warwick Davis. That's it. Yeah. Just get Vern Troyer, Warwick Davis. Uh, yeah, yeah Vern Troyer. Yeah, you can get them to play Follis easy. Um, yeah, you could do a lot of practical effects, but when it comes to her, more like the seat, like obviously the Elcor and the Hannah. Actually, okay, right. Well, anyway. same oh, up here. Yeah, sorry, actually, we yeah. we get yeah. aliens like that in well, how in the original Star Wars movies, mm-hmm. yeah, with, with the head tails and whatnot. Yeah, like, uh, twi- uh, Twi'leks. Is that what they're called? Twi- uh, yeah, Twi'leks. 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 Yeah, it might be pronounced differently, but yeah, it might be Twi'leks. Twi'leks. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I apologize. My Star Wars is a little bit rusty. Jo- hey, Liara. This, <laughs> this conversation here, I got the Power War achievement on. Same here. Yeah, same here. And it's like, hang on. Hang on. Did she just screw me with her mind? I don't know what's going on. But yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, and um, Vex is a hard one to... And, and Grunt, because Krogan's just had that deep rough... I guess you could put Jared Butler as one of them. <laughs> really? Uh, Possibly, no, no, it's, it's hard one to say, really. obviously the humans. What about the mountain? Ron Perlman plays the mountain. 
He doesn't really speak much. So doesn't matter, he doesn't need to. I'm going to say Ron Perlman. <laughs> Ooh. Um, That's Rex. Yeah, because Rex talks loads, actually. Now, I'm trying to think. Who else has a deep speaking voice? <gasps> um, I've never heard you get so excited. Uh, thingy from Flash Gordon. Um... Brian Blessed! <laughs> Blessed as Kogan. No, that, that would be horrible. All, all I heard there was Brian Blessed. That would be horrible. <laughs> that would be amazing. Uh, oh, I'd hate to see that. I oh, wasn't alive. <laughs> or wait. Well, because if we're going from Mass Effect 2, Shepard's alive. <laughs> to be honest, if they were to make a, man, like a Mick Foley film, Brian Blessed is funny. He's got the beard. <laughs> yeah, but he's like. Can trying... you do that Shepard thing once more for me? <laughs> Shepard's alive. No, Shepard's no. alive. <laughs> <laughs> that is <Shepherd> brilliant. Lives. <laughs> um, oh, I, I can't say if that's a good or bad impression. Someone let me know. <laughs> once more, can you do it once more? Just Shepard's alive. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sounds like you doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Shepard's uh, alive. He is. Ryan Blessed needs to get on you. He's like, <laughs> I, need, I need to sound like that. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's a. Uh, I mean, what else? Species are there. Uh, four to pretty much have anyone playing, just doing weird, high pitched sort of. You need an asshole voice. to play Batarian. Like, Ooh, like... a Batarian. <laughs> who, who, can, who can play a Batarian? John Cena! <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. I actually thought you were going to say Tom Hardy. <laughs> um, well, he's a prick as well, uh, so yeah. <laughs> no, but who, like, who, who would you. Because obviously they're assholes. Well, uh, the thing is, so they're like, would you? Ah, oh, what about Liam Neeson? Weird choice. Who Jackman? The thing Hugh is, Jackman doesn't tell me. I, I, I think see he'd work in a sci-fi movie. Yeah, he, I mean, he was in obviously Chappie, wasn't he? Which is yes, sci-fi-ish. Mm, yeah. yeah, it's sci-fi. It's sci-fi. It's sci-fi. It's sci-fi. So, Rock and a Mullet. Mullet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And what else? There's Fortune. Uh, Elcor. You... El Corby. El Corby is anyone. Is this yeah. just like a shortened elephant? That's like the tenth time you've mentioned George the in Black Barbara. Just shush. Yeah, he's saying about him when we watching that music video. He's like, oh, look, there he is. Playing the DJ set. Uh, yeah, but yeah, um, El Corby, you pretty much could get anyone. Um, what other species are there? How, wait. Uh, let, what are those Jenny let, Fish let's ones? Um, the Hannah. 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 Let's Hannah ignore again. the... Alright, let, let's look at... More human characters, okay. Drell. Even though it's not human, it's human. Oh, no. The Drell. Ooh, the Drell. That's Fane, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh. That's cool, though. I like Fane. You Fane's can get some cool. really suave to do that. Suave? Suave. I, ooh, don't. Really? Yeah. Is he that suave? Fane's fairly suave. Wow. He is an assassin before Fane. Well, that is true. Um, what about Fastbender? Eh. Uh, yes. Oh, and Salarians. Yeah, I, for some reason. As much as I don't want to say it, maybe even Cumberbatch. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, actually. No, 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 no. I saw a picture. Cumberbatch for a Slavian. He looks like a Slavian. Oh, yeah, he can be a skinny Slavian. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a picture of that. I was like, Slavian yes, scientist. make it. No. Yeah, no, I know. Fair enough. But um, So we've got Fastbender as, uh, Fastbender as Drell. Fastbender as yeah. And then we've got Cumberbatch Ooh. as Slavian. What about, um, what's his face from Mass Effect 2? Uh, the mercenary guy. It's got the scar down his side. What, Kasumi? No, guy. <laughs> I don't know. Um, um, I, uh, uh, I've never what's his played those two um, Is he in your squad? Yes. He's that bounty hunter one. He was leader of the yellow sun. He's not in your squad. You get him right at the beginning of Omega. He's beating up a guy. Oh, this is on... D- oh, I don't yes, know DLC, yeah, it's DLC. DLC, DLC. Which is um, why I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. Because you tried to find him once, play, like, when we were uh, running around. I, I, I stayed on sit now. I could, try and, should, could have tried to find him. Um, but yeah, like he you get like a real badass character. Like Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis would be brilliant for him. <laughs> because he's a veteran. He's a veteran. He's a. Yeah, he, definitely Bruce Willis for him. Um, and then. I can't generally complain about that. I'd have Bruce Willis. <laughs> Bruce Willis no, no, no one can. That's a lot of reapers. But, uh. Um, Someone's got a milkshake in very hard. Okay, uh. Okay, James Fager. Batista. Hands down. Done. Uh, uh, he'd do good. I if think. Batista he'd was to, like, about 10 years younger, maybe. Yeah, but if you think about it, isn't Vega just Salvador for Borderlands? 
Yeah. Very much. Uh, what was it? Kasumi. There's someone I was thinking of that like, Rampage like Kasumi. Jackson or something like that. Because she, she's uh... <laughs> No, Rampage would be Jacob. Oh, actually, Jacob's. There is one name, but I don't Teddy want Cruz to say him. would be Jacob. No, he's not. I don't know. <laughs> no, there, there is a name. Anything's better with Teddy Cruz now. I'm not saying it, but there's a name you don't want to say it. Yeah. What, Ezekiel Jackson? Not a lot of people like him. Bobby Lashley. No, people like him. He's not... a sing rapper. Uh, oh. Only on looks. Mm. On 50, looks. Cent, 50 Cent. No, 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 no. The other one. No, but 50 Cent could play him. Maybe. You know, uh, you know who I'm talking actually, about. He could play quite good, Jacob. Is it... Jacob's an intellectual. I'm just thinking. No, but I know the... this is why I'm thinking just on looks. Yeah, he he probably yeah. could. Okay, you know I'm not. I I've got one of the three names in mind. Oh, uh, that dance kind of gives it away. Okay. Oh yeah, that guy. He's on a... looks, maybe. Maybe. I'm more like Kanye West. Oh, I was thinking uh, Big I... E, but yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's the... what that's how I did the dance. You know the. <laughs> Yeah, that thing right. in Paris. Uh, yeah, oh, um, right. Miranda, you get the person that plays uh, voice of Miranda because it's based off her image. Fair enough. Um, then you have Jack. Ah, Jack's cool. Ah, Fine. Jack. I know. Yeah, I doubt either you watch it. I don't really watch it. Orange is the New Black. Okay. There's a one in the new season. It, like there's this woman that's covered in tattoos. Like yeah, she's a le- well. I guess she's a lesbian. Huh? She's just orange and <laughs> new black. But she would play a good Jack. What about like? But I don't. Uh, was it Ruben Vox? Rock? Yeah, I think that's her name. So Ruben Vox or something yeah, but, like that. All right, Jack's a badass, right? Not like Scarlett Johansson or something. No, Rock. No, it's not Captain all together. To be honest, if mm. I, I was just I'll, like I'll just put, spitballing people. I'll though. probably put um. It's got like you handsome more as Miranda, if anything. Oh, uh, what about Ashley? No, to be perfectly honest, if I was to put her as anything. Yeah, I don't know, maybe Ashley, but. But Ashley's got a bit more colour to her, isn't she? I Not being racist. Just. At any rate. But then again, it's one of these things. Okay, wait, you could okay we're, we're, we're looking at Joker now. What about Joker? Seth Green. It's gotta be Seth Green. Really? Yeah, it's gotta it, be. Yeah. It's, it's, it's it just is Joker, Seth isn't Green. it? Uh, is it his face, though? Like, Who cares? It's Seth Green. No, no, There's uh, one person that you can. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm asking. I don't know. I would, I would keep Seth Green. I okay. would keep Seth Green. What, Caden? Which one's Caden? Caden's the little bitch from the first one, isn't he? Well, well is he's it, he the, the violent guy from yeah. the first one, yeah. Yeah, I don't like Caden. Is that why you let him die? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty so. much. Uh, <laughs> is it Sonic Stan? What's it? The one that played the Winter Soldier? Sebastian Stan. Sebastian Stan. He played no, with Caden. In the, in the Martian, he does look a bit like Caden. Was that him? Mm, oh. He's in. Well, no, no, he's, he's one of the people in the Martian. Um, another one that you could put for Jacob, he no, probably won't work. Is uh, Danny Glover? No, he's, da- a, he's a bit old. Don, 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 Donald Glover, that's it. He's Donald from, Glover. Yeah, from Community. Oh, uh, I think I know he's, you're on people about. want him to be Miles Morales. I think oh? I know you're on about. Miles Morales, Spider-Man. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, I don't read Spider-Man. Yeah, and then uh. Was it? I was also thinking. There, there's someone else in the community. I don't know his name. He was also in Winter Soldier as a brief thing, like a brief character. Yep. He plays Abed in Community. He would be a good Slavian. He'd be a fairly good Morden. But uh, uh, Morden. Morden. Did the little Morden is obviously oh, talking. Morden. <laughs> that, that guy talks about smart crap. Yeah, to Morden. himself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, he'd be like, like Doc Brown if he was an alien. The, the, the thing is, with Mass Effect, it's so fast you could literally do anything with it, and it, could, sh- it would yeah. probably work. Because you could you could even do a spin off that's not related to any part Which is what I'm, aspect. I'm and half expecting the fourth one to be like that. But we don't know we don't even talk about Shepard. No 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 that's the thing, it's like yeah, maybe bring his name up once or twice but just subtly. As that's gonna be the like guy who saved the galaxy. Ooh, or fifty foot Shepherd. gonna be a fifty foot monument of him on Earth. Because when well, no, they can't even see the guy that saved the galaxy because them shit. But um no, that, that's yeah. not that, just that's not okay. <laughs> we want to go into the realm of that. But, okay, uh, yeah, right. So okay, j- just yeah, to elaborate on what Tom said. Okay, we all played Mass Effect as male characters, so we always refer to Shepard as a male. Yep. It's not to say that female Shepard could, you know, not be. A no, 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 I, 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 I don't sleep them Shepard, but 
No, because she's voiced it's... by Jennifer Hale. Yeah, exactly. And she's but awesome. it's, to me, Shepard is Mass Effect One. The cover art, that Shepard. How? Oh, wait, you said about James. Yeah, Ben Batista. What's his name? Vega. No, J- Jason David Frank. Well, actually, well, he's not. <laughs> I want to say yes just for the sake of saying yes. Okay, when we and he is said, cool. But but we're not quite feeling that. Maybe okay. not. Before we wrap this up, one we haven't said is Tally. Oh. So I wonder where's a mask. To be honest, not being racist, but the tallies are based off like the Indian... Well, the Zoe Saldana. Are based off, yes. Is she not yes. Gamora? Yes. Yeah. Uh, the Koreans Co- are based off the Indian culture. Is it? It's only because yeah, she's I, I so... Think it's Indian or like Arabian culture. So that's why they, like obviously you speak to one of them in the second and third game, and you've got like a quite a strong sort of Arabian accent. I don't know. I only I but, literally only said to her because so of, mm-hmm. she only really plays badass women, like alien characters. But There's again, one she can film play I, think well. I know of she where she Ashley. plays. As what? herself, like as a like an actual yeah. human in a and that's like and she probably is a slave. Is she in no, where she's an assassin. Anyway, uh, this video has gone on quite some time now, so I think we should wrap up there. Uh, give us any uh, comments down below of who you think should play certain characters, or what you would like to see in the next game, and or just for some aspect in general, surely. Just mass, yeah. Anything Mass Effect, and I'll most likely probably reply to it <laughs> because I love my Mass Effect. It's Comment my something ridiculous series. that Rigdon should do. If you slate Mass Effect, that's a different story. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah. Uh, basically, yeah. Give us a like on Facebook at Bossfella Games and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up, and we shall see you next time. Son of a bitch, you stole my line. <laughs> yeah, right. And comment something ridiculous that he should do at the end of the year if he doesn't. Yeah. Even if yeah. he does do Mass Effect. Give me. In, in, as long as it's not too ridiculous. Uh, I just make it yeah. as hilarious as possible. Alright. Boost! Boost! Boost!